So it's Kieran Flynn here with me, GA TV, and I'm joined on the line here by Jamie Otuma, the Irish language officer for the GA and proud Dunderry clubman. Uh, how are you getting on, Jamie, in these strange times? No, not too bad now, Kieran. but as you say, it's very strange. It's uh, you, we, we never really know how important our games are to us until we can't have them, and uh, as I said, I'm, I'm looking forward now to for action to get back together, and hopefully it won't be too long before we can go out and watch our junior D's or our first teams or our county teams or whatever. So, uh, please God, it won't be much longer now and we'll be able to get back into action. Absolutely. I think, the, as you said, I think the junior D championship and these things will never see attendance like it before when it's back. I think people will flock to training sessions, to games, as soon as they're allowed out and about. I think attendance oh, absolutely. will hopefully if, if, if the Dundee lads were playing now uh, at the weekend, I tell you, there'll be 2,000 people out watching them. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. They'll be, be jam-packed. But it's interesting how, how the people of Ireland and especially the GA people have reacted to the lockdown. Uh, just one of the major reasons talking today is the the score, which is a, our cultural side of the GA, sometimes doesn't get enough kind of a, a screen time. But at the moment, it's dominating the sphere with the virtual kind of uh, championships or the virtual score and Ogan score shinsha that it's on. And it's a great initiative been run by your department. Yeah, but look, we're, we're delighted with it so far, Kieran. Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but our score, uh, Shinter finals were to take place uh, th- this Saturday coming. And it was a huge disappointment because all the pr- provinces were ready for the, the, the provincial finals and all that there. So uh, we, we thought we had to give, uh, you know, our score members and our GA, you, you know, we had to give them some sort of an outlet. So we decided, look, if they can't go and perform uh, on the provincial stages or the All-Ireland final, we give them a, we give them a chance to show off their talents online. And we've we've been absolutely delighted with the with the, the impact it's had. We're up and running for three weeks now, and we've had over two hundred acts be it out dancing, uh, shandos dancing, uh, singing a song, uh, brothers and sisters coming together to play a few tunes, uh, recitation pieces. It's just been it really has been uh, brilliant, and uh, it's after reviving, I suppose, in a way, the the score community online, and it's it's just great that everyone's part. But again, it just shows you what the GA community is about. Uh, in times like these, we all come together and we, we, we make things happen. And, you know, we, we, see, we, we see the best in people. And, you know, thankfully, it's been a huge success to date. And we're, we're hoping to continue it on. Uh, we, we, we might throw in a few of the, the odd different team day, uh, in, the, in the weeks ahead. But we want to keep it going. We want to give uh, young score you know, scoring an old uh, competitors, we want to give them a chance to show off their skills and their talent. So, as I said, we're going to keep it going. We might have a great good day the next week, and after that, we may, we might just target different um, uh, disciplines of score. You know, it could be a dancing one, a dancing weekend, just to get more and more people out, or it could be an instrumental group weekend. So, we're just going to keep plugging away, and you know, as as long as people wanted and show that they wanted and are taking part in it, we'll keep going with it because. As I said, it's been a huge success, and we're just delighted that uh, so many of our GA members uh, all over the country have been happy to come out and participate in, in SCORE this way. Absolutely, and Cavardic is on it. It's, a, it's been a great kind of insight into SCORE and seeing kind of the different acts. See, some people, it's kind of sometimes SCORE takes on kind of a mystical thing that people don't understand exactly what it is. But uh, one, another thing you've been helping me out recently with kind of getting SCORE in Mead kind of a bit more notice. Uh, we launched our new website, and uh, on the website, uh, from getting your help and the help of the Irish officer Joseph O'Brien and here in Mead, we've gone very much down a bilingual approach and tried to get as much Irish on the page as possible, and definitely giving people the option to do the Gaelge. And I think that that kind of ties in that maybe to break down some of the barriers because Irish is very accessible to people if you make an effort, and score is a very entertaining part of our games when people actually look at it and see it now, they're understanding that this is not something that is for a minority. It's actually something that I can get involved in. And a, a, it's a, a big thank you for you helping with the website. And, that, and hopefully we'll be able to use this new medium ourselves and me to promote things like SCORE better than we have done in the past. Yeah, and a, a big congratulations going to yourself, Kieran. on the, the, the website is looking brilliant. But uh, one one of my roles as Irish language officer in the GA, and one one of the, the the main my main targets or ambitions is to normalise Irish uh, so far as I can. I'm not sure if you're aware, but when when you look at our our, our the national GA page, mm. you know there's tweets going out every day, and our 
uh, Facebook post going out there, Oscar and instead of just speaking about Irish, it's speaking about our games and promoting our games. And when I look at uh, my adopted county here in Meads, I have a look at the likes of Wolf Tones and uh, Clannan Ale and my own club, Dunderry. There's parts of those three parishes that, that are great of parts. And, you know, yeah. I think we have to look after our Irish language speakers. And there's great schooling popping up all over the county at the minute. So there are people with Irish. So my, my, my sort of aim would be to normalise uh, Irish within things. And there's no better way than when you click to go into your, you know, you know, the, 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 the people in the, the children in Irish schools are no different than everyone else. They love the games. They want to go in. They click on media, and it, it, it makes them more acceptable, I suppose, when they see uh, that things are bilingual and that you know there's respect here for the Irish. And there's another huge thing. It makes us different as an organisation, be it a club level, county level, provincial level, or national level. It makes us different uh, when people. People have a look at the Irish languages and they make the connection between ourselves and the GA and the Irish, and it just becomes a part of us. It makes us different, it makes us more special, and it brings that community uh, sort of uh, vibe to it as well. So, you know, it, it, it's definitely not doing any harm, and I, I can be sure, you know, when we put up the tweets or whatever, uh, that the, 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 the amount of impressions or the people engaged in them, it, it, they're, they're, they're successful, I suppose, as the English one. So I think in the GA we have to normalise uh, the Irish as much as we can in the in the community and just to, to, to reflect our members. Like I mentioned there, the, 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 the Grail School and the growth, but it's not just the me, they're growing all over the country. So there are Irish speakers there, and we have to show that there, there's a place that, where they can belong in the GA for them. So... No, it's, we're, we're delighted with the progress we've made. And again, just to congratulate yourself. It would be great now if other counties had a look to see what you've done and see if they can uh, copy it or progress it in any way. So, you know, it's all bright. It's all positive in the future. And as I say, you know, the, the, the cultural aspect and the Irish language aspect, it makes us different as an organisation to other organisations. That's true, James. When you, when you chart the history of the Gaelic Atlantic Association in this country, it's very much been at the, the forefront of Gaelic revival and of keeping the culture strong because without, like the kind of thing with Pierce says, without our language, we don't really have a nation. And it kind of comes in that our games very much fit into that. And simple little things, the announcements in, in Park Talsh and simple things, you just try and embed the Irish in it. And I think that's very yeah, important. Do. You know, we, we try and put it in in all the different angles. And that can ask yeah, it's it's clear, like ask it. Go on, Jimmy. N- it's just brilliant, like if well, whether it be Croke Park or Park Talton or any provincial grounds all over the country, you can't go to a game without hearing the likes of yourself speaking Irish over the the, the PA. Mm. You, it's in your program. There'll be plenty of Gaelic in your program, uh, but you'll also hear people. You'll also, like I go in the whole time uh, watching games, club level and county level, and you meet your neighbours. You meet people from Rakhine. You meet not only people from Rakhine, but you hear Irish a lot. So, you know, it is, and you know, it's brilliant that you, the likes of yourselves that do promote it and normalise it into the, in, into the association with games. So, no, fair play. And, and that leads me, like, as, as more we normalise it, the attendances have been getting better in our score events. And it comes, like, there, there's people involved in Mead, the likes of uh, Cahill Shog and Denise Morg and Joseph O'Brien and yourself getting getting teams together. And the score in Ogles and Trim this year before Clan de Gael played a Leinster football championship match. And, the crowds are getting bigger and there's an interest building and I think it's coming a lot from the Gale School and it's coming from teachers and it's coming from people who are who are getting involved in culture and it's great to see that it's growing rather than stagnating or, or faltering. And uh, well done to your team on that. Yeah, no, absolutely. I remember that day and do you know, do you know something that drove it, it's a huge sense of pride was the pride they had, all the competitors had in their jerseys. We see the Clan and Wales jersey that day. We had Old Castle, we had Trim, and they're all proud to be representing the clubs, and usually you associate that with representing your club out in the pitch with a come on in your hand or with a pell or Leroy's. But th- this was brilliant. Like you can just see the same sense of pride. And you know, I I have to I have to admit it was my first time uh, attending the score finals in Mead, and I was overwhelmed with the amount of the, the attendances. There was chairs laid out all over the room, and I came down early, and I said oh, that these won't be filled. But it was brilliant. There was hundreds. There was two hundred. There was over two hundred in attendance at that. And you know, it just shows that there is interest there, and we should plug away at this, and you know, grow this as part of the GA, and you know, make it as successful, and show that we can show leadership in the promotion not only of our games, but of 
music in this. And you mentioned there Joseph O'Brien, Cahill Choi, Denise uh, Morgan. This last few years, they've done a huge, huge effort in reviving score. You know, Cahill and Joseph have been plugging away over the years, but Denise was a huge addition when she came in. And it was brilliant, like, even the Leinster semi-finals up in Old Castle, the huge crowds up there and the welcome that they were given, it was, it was unbelievable. And it just shows it's revived, like, from Cullum Kills uh, in the East Coast to Clan and Wales, further over in the West Coast. You know, it, it's it's growing. Uh, there's more interest in it, and there's, there's no doubt that it's a huge, huge positive, uh, successful future in Meath, and, and I look forward to it. Absolutely, and then we'll finish up just by kind of encouraging all our members that, that listen to this or, or go on our websites or social medias that the score is available in every single club in Mead. It's it's something very easy to, to get involved in. The virtual stuff is happening online the whole time now. Do get involved. But also the Irish language is a, is a massive part. We've, we've discussed it already. But embedding simple things like there's a lot of Gaelga classes that are going on and people are actually getting involved in learning the language. And there's so many apps out there like Duolingo and all these things that if you want to have an interest in it, the GA is there to help you, but you'll never you'll never falter or fail if you put your own effort into it. And I think just your maybe final remark, Jamie, to maybe to what would you tell people to encourage them maybe to get involved with the GA and the Irish language? Maybe maybe well, you like to ask Wales as well. We'll let you finish with that too. Yeah, no, no, Kieran, Mara Darren and Man and Noah Tag and Gumanu Class Gael to art to in the league on or where we all belong. And there is a place for us all. There is, we all do belong to this special organisation, and that includes all our instrumentals, our dancers, our, our singers. So I, I just ask the, all the clubs out there, anyone's listening, you know, come on board, join in, score. You won't regret it. It's a huge celebration of our of our traditions and culture. So I'd ask as many people to get onto their their Irish language officers or their cultural officers in the club and inquire about it. And you know, I know that Joseph O'Brien. Our, our county cultural officer, he'd be just more than delighted to help. So, Ainya Mohanchin, Matasimagi score, Matasimagi Sagiol, Snorani, Sadamsa, Shishkeliat, you know, Bulaki Stakho can come in and join us for score. Absolutely. Mahu, Kavardikis, and Gurumina Makat, and Slan, Jamie.